All right, what's going on guys? It's Carl David. I'm gonna make a quick tutorial video on how to set up your Prosper 202 onto your hosting that you just got. And um, later on, we're also gonna you know, help you set up your first actual campaign. And you can literally make money um, today. So first thing you wanna do is go to um, prosper.tracking202.com. If you just Google Prosper 202, you'll, you'll find it. And what you're gonna do is click the link and obviously put in your email and download the actual file. It's gonna be a zip file, okay? A zip file, keep it on your uh, computer and next thing you're gonna do right after that is go ahead and log into your, your hosting. Um, Bluehost is the recommended hosting uh, and if you have a special VPN, you can do it, use that as well. It's actually more dedicated, um, but for people who are just starting off, Bluehost is perfect is cost efficient and you can quickly set up everything. So I'm gonna run through this real quick. It might sound like alien language, but I promise you if you follow what I'm like, li literally follow my mouse step by step, you can do the same exact thing and get set up real quick. So, first all right, so at this point now we've downloaded Prosper. Okay, we've downloaded Prosper and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a, a database and we're actually gonna create a subdomain too. So first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and create um, the subdomain. I think that's actually easier for everybody to, to you know, get out of the way. So you're going to click domains and go to domain manager. All right. And you should already have a domain on file. If not, um, well, yeah, you should already have a domain on file. So we're going to go up here and we're going to click subdomains. Okay. And I actually have a subdomain here, so I'm going to delete it. Right. So it's just so it'll look fresh for you. So I'm gonna go back to here. This is what it's gonna look like, all right? Nothing, subdomains are URLs for different sections of your website. So I'm gonna create a subdomain, I'm gonna call it Prosper, okay? And we're gonna put Prosper at the end as well. All right, and then we're gonna click create. So it's gonna be prosper.yourdomain.com. You're gonna create the subdomain, okay? And now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back to hosting. Okay, we're gonna go back to the hosting section. All right, and now we're gonna to go to where it says um, databases. We're gonna click database, and this you can actually find that here as well. We're gonna click database, and we're gonna call the database Prosper for time's sake. It's very simple to, to just call everything Prosper. So we're gonna create the database, and now we're gonna copy this and you're going to paste it into your notepad. You see I've already done it here. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to actually erase this. So we're going to paste the database name and we're going to go back. All right. And the next thing to do, all right, since we already created, you see current database this is what you just created. Now we're going to create a username. Okay. We're going to call the username Prosper2. It's simple. Prosper. All right. And with the password, we can you know, write your own password, you can use uh, your hosting password or you can use the password generator. So I'm gonna click this a few times and they've generated a password for me. Use password, all right, so it paste all that in there and what we're gonna do is save the password and since that's the username as well, we're gonna paste this as the username. So now we have database name, okay, and bold, Call, I don't know how to change the color on this, but username, right? Database name, database username, same thing. This is your password, right? So we're gonna click create user right now. Now that the user is created, we're gonna click go back. Now, next thing to do is to scroll down and connect what we just did. So you have a database made, all right? You have a database made, and you also have a user that you've created. And now we're going to have to add the user to the database. So user, database, click add. And make sure you have all the privileges set up. All right. Click all the privileges and make changes. So everything is up, um, updated. And now we can go back home. All right. We can actually go back home. And we're done with the databases now. And what you're going to want to do is click where it says cPanel, not home. Click cPanel. All right, and we're gonna scroll down till we find where it says file management and we're gonna click file manager. This is gonna pop up. You can choose your domain. 
you could choose your do um, subdomain. We just made a subdomain for a reason. This is where we're going to install Prosper on the subdomain. So prosper.domain.com, okay? We're going to click go now. Now, you're going to leave this as is and click upload, okay? And we're going to upload the zip file that you've downloaded before um, from prosper202.com. And we're going to just go ahead and upload the whole entire zip file. You don't have to extract it on your computer. Just upload it um, you know, straight onto the server. And it's going to be done in a few seconds. All right, now it says it's complete. So we're going to click go back home. All right, and what we're going to do is refresh the page. Make sure that the zip file is here. Okay, now we're going to select the zip. Okay, prosper the zip file. And what we're going to do is extract that file into um, the actual folder. And when that's done, we're going to click reload again, and all of the files are going to end up showing up here. All right. And all you're going to do now, this is so simple, all you're going to do is go to where you see it says 202 config sample.php. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. It says 202 config sample.php. Don't touch anything else. That's the file we want to right click and edit. All right, we're going to edit. Okay, and the information that we had before, look at this, take a look at this database name. So we're going to copy this. You see where it says put your DB here, your database name here. All right. Exactly how I have it highlighted is how you want to paste that. So paste it. Okay. And since my username is the same as my database name, I don't need to go there and, and copy it again. I can simply, you know, do the same thing and paste this here. All right. And we're going to grab the password that was generated for us. And we're going to do the same exact thing again, and we're going to paste it. Okay, guys? Now we're going to click Save Changes, and we're going to close this out, and we're going to reload the, um, the File Manager tab, okay? And you're going to go again to where it says config.sample.php, and we're going to edit that. We're, no, we're going to rename it, okay? And we're going to remove this. Okay, we're going to remove dash sample. So it's config.php. We're going to rename the file. And what we're going to do now is select everything. Okay, we're going to select everything. And we're going to actually, no, you don't have to move everything. If it's onto your hosting, if you don't see that it says public HTML forward slash prosper, this is what you want it to look like. So we're already in the prosper folder. And you can click out of here actually and click the prosper zip file delete it refresh the page and you should be good to go all right so everything is in the correct folders um, you have the file actually config.php there's no more sample all right so now what we're going to do to go ahead and create an account with um, with prosper is we're going to we're going to go to the subdomain you just created prosper dot domain name okay and in this case it's from dreams to life.com so prosper dot domain name dot com we're gonna click enter okay and this is um, all you need to do all right so you're gonna go ahead and fill this form out you're gonna put your email you're gonna put a username that you want to log in with it's like creating a Facebook account you put your username you put your password and verify it and then you're gonna click install prosper 202 and you are good to go. So watch this video as many times as you need to, follow the steps step by step, and you should be good to go.